What goes through your mind, Ian, when you play in the shop? Do you see it? Don't hit the ground. Don't hit the ground? Yeah, seriously, that's pretty much it. There's been times that I've literally gone up to tea and go anywhere. Literally anywhere. And when that's in your head, you kind of don't yeah. know. You don't know. Definitely. It's an open, really. Yeah, pretty much that. I'm thinking everything here, not out there, yeah. when it's bad. And I'm thinking, all I'm going to do is take a big fat chunk out of that grass. And when I do, it's <laughs> head gone. Yeah, you couldn't continue to keep swaying, you see. Notice how it acts as like a, a break, and you then go up and then come out of it. It's a horrible switch. But what you'll find is your rotations all come from your body and not from here. Different animal that's doing. That was that was like a recoil. Well played. Sure. Well played. You've got to think big. You've been taking it's such a reductionist approach to the game. I mean that wasn't and we only said it. You did it. We'll let a few balls just to loosen up. Yeah. And we'll uh, chat about the game. What goes through your mind Ian when you play in the shot? Do you see it out of ground? Don't hit the ground. Yeah, seriously, that's pretty much it. And what about what? Oh, in terms, yeah. Golf, what about golf shots? At the minute, do you, no. Do you I see any shapes up? Did you? Used to. You see the draw. Just see the draw, and literally be picking a point out on the fairway to say there. Right. Yeah. So ten yard draw, fifteen yard draw in, no problem. Well, I say no problem. It's consistent yeah. as you would expect for the amount of time you play. Yeah. Um, but. Just don't see that now. There's been times that I've literally gone up to tea and go anywhere. Right. Literally anywhere. And when that's in your head, you kind of don't yeah, know. You don't know, really. Yeah, definitely. It's in an open, really. Yeah, pretty much that. So, I genuinely, not, I think I've heard you say it before playing golf swing, because I'm thinking everything here, not out there, yeah. when it's bad. And I'm thinking, all I'm going to do is take a big fat chunk out of that grass. And when I do, it's <laughs> head gone. Yeah. Yeah, then it starts, yeah, it all breaks down. Yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah. I'm a, definitely a confidence player. If I'm playing well, then I'll charge on and, and yeah. call shots, can and, yeah, and yeah. enjoy it. Your mind's out there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's totally different, but when it goes, I don't know how to get out. A good place then, obviously, for us is we're going to be getting, if you're used to seeing that baby drawer and that's what you like, going back to that place yeah. where you can see the shot but then obviously play it the other way but see the shot you've already got an, an affinity for that shot so that's what we that's where we go and the strike being able to influence your strike and trust so, it and trust yeah. it trust your swing yeah exactly so it's kind of you see it and then you trust the doing instead of having to think about the doing, doing. yeah it's trusting the doing so it's letting the body just react mm. to your thoughts but your thoughts need to be in the right place so yeah. Let's have a few more shots and we'll have a good look. Ah, there's the bad one. Only really our blessings when it gets terminal. <laughs> something, <laughs> probably something right in that really. But... I think that's a case for a lot of people, but you see, that's almost the way the golf industry has been set up. Yeah. See? Yeah, we're going to push core. Yeah, so tolerate. <laughs> Push the treat us to the full, yeah. <laughs> full Matthews bag of tricks. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, we're back in the get my plate. Okay, I'll just show you what's going on. Basically, what we've got here: left foot, right foot. Yeah. Pressure in the left, pressure in the right. That okay. joins them all. Combine pressure. So as you swing back, can you see that white line is still horizontal? Yeah. That's the torque that you're creating from the ground. Yet you've fully rotated. The torque's not coming from the ground, or you're not using torque from the ground, you're creating torque elsewhere. Mm. Okay, now that's okay, but you're not using the ground. Once we start to give the body an experience of unloading and loading, and how it can do it easily through rotation, I think what you'll find is your rotations all come from your body and not from here. The pressure's moving well, but you're doing it by shifting. I can move the board by shifting by using pressure. I can do that faster, and now I can use that pressure to move. Or I can 
can use that and then try and drive it with my pelvis, but it's slower. The more the pelvis sways, the more the upper body's gonna tip back, and that brings your low point back. Yeah. What it also does, by, do, by doing this, is, is your tub tipping back and you're adding loft. So you're both like, you can be adding loft to the club, so it spins up a bit more. You've got a face that's rotating, you've got a low point that's further back. If you're not getting the rotations from here, you're getting them from the torso, the shoulders and the wrists. Yeah. So now you've got a club face that's rotating a high amount over quite a big distance over a short time. So it's kind of, it's timing that. Because at the moment, it's just a case of how's your timing. Yeah, it is, definitely. Yeah, and if timing's on, I'm okay, I play and enjoy it. Timing's off, woeful. And there's not much in between. So this is gonna afford the body more movement to improve its timing. Your right leg is way stronger than your left. Yeah. See how much you have to lift that left heel up to, to, to move. That's what happens when you walk. That's it. So this is where your ankle doesn't want to be. Keep the toes up. And keep, the, keep the foot in. And then come out of it. It's a horrible stretch. Feel that one? Even just with those few stretches, you've changed the way your foot interacts with the ground. Bend your knees. And then to rotate back, all we do is stand up. That's it. Just wait. <laughs> That's it. Can't be that easy. It is. <laughs> You're going to load and unload. That's okay. a load. And that's that. And notice, watch, when I go up, I create like a natural pivoting torque from the ground. As I'm unloading, I can transfer that force through the body. Whereas if I stay down and rotate, that's harder. And then if I do this, yeah. I get it. Yeah. So we've got to do this. Here. That's it. Now you don't need to rotate any more than 12 o'clock. I want you to, I want you to stop. Drill. So twist all the all the works from there. That's it. Brilliant. Well done. Step off that. You couldn't continue to keep swaying. You see. Notice how it acts as like a a brake for you to then go up. So to use that. What we've just been doing on those, but you'll feel where you can start to go with that ankle. Can you feel that? Yeah. It's like it's coming alive. It's like it's come to life. Yeah. Is that we've awakened it? Yeah. Some half swings. Look at the screen as you do it. Just back and forth, and see. Look at the torque you're creating now. See that white line's rotating like a propeller. It's doing that, that white line. Different feel. Yeah, definitely. Feels more <coughs> connected. Yeah. Yeah, if that's the right word. Yeah, the, whatever it means to you is, in, is that's what's important. Hit a couple of shots like that, and see how it feels. Feeling yourself low and unload like that sharp grab. And it'll feel really strange at first, of course, probably like there's a lot of up and down and. It's going to be chaos, but that's how it should be. But that was better because you were later. You just pop on the board for me there. You'll be used to getting to the ball kind of earlier with a release like this, kind of. Whereas now it's going to be later. And use the banging of the board to switch the club, but it's particularly on the way through. Really late snap, so the snap will be over here. If you want the release to be later. You've got to be able to counterbalance that. Because if you want this to be accelerating later and releasing later, you've got to be able to counterbalance it. If you're going with it, this thing's not going to accelerate as much. You're going to have to go to the end of the chain for the power because that suddenly brings your low point back. This is the bit that's uh, a bit of chaos, which is good. This is where learning's really taking place. Your body's starting to rewire. So it's all about perception of feeling that hand path. Where is that and that club head path around your body? What do you associate with that? draw that's it and then let your body just extend it'll release it later and then it knows where it's going body's comfortable stay in that posture at the end okay just stay in it because your body needs to know because you might find your ankle fighting it foot's fighting resisting let your body extend. 
just holding it there. Play around with the finish. Just let yourself go. That's it, let it drop in front now. Yeah, so you feel the weight of the club at the end there. You're being assertive here. That's where you're being assertive that takes you, as opposed to here and then stop it yeah. and then stop it. So your effort was applied really early with a, with a slide and then it's just a bit of a, then it's a release with the hands. Whereas we want to now, now we've got these forces, let's use them. Yeah, use them here. And this is where you've got to let the club go. Yes. Now you start, the strike's getting better. Because you're committing to a later snap. Yeah, beautiful. That felt flatter. But I feel like I could keep going back there. So you recognise in space that you need to play a certain shot. Yeah. It's like if you're going to throw a ball, you already know where this arm's going to go. You know that's not right, this isn't right. But if you spent, if you spent years doing this, yeah. you could, you'd, you'd, you'd be creating some kind of movement to compensate to get this release. Well done. You like that release? I never really appreciated that I had like a, well it feels like a song off finish compared to what yeah. you're saying there. Which it, looks like, yeah, it looked like you are trying to play a punch shot. Yeah. I reckon that's the subconscious of, don't know where it's going, therefore, yeah. saw it off, it might not. Yeah, minimise the error. Yeah. Yeah, but never just let it go, basically, yeah. Just migrating to that rear foot, that heel as you swing through. Yeah, that's it. So your toes will just be nice and relaxed. In fact, they'll probably be coming off the floor like that. Nice. That must be a different feel, that. Definitely. All this side feels active. Does it? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. All of it. That's brilliant, because it's going to let you stabilise. Yeah. Feel good? Yeah. That felt effortless and like it went into the same spot that I think I can keep hitting. Feels like a draw. Yeah. The draw spot. Yeah. Those last few, when it has felt right, have all gone pretty much where I had expected them to, with minimal effort. Like I say, really? that's, that, they're not full swings, are they? Yeah. Kind of... Lovely. Just put it onto your tiptoes. Yeah, I've got the pipe not falling onto my toes, eh? Now I just want you to do a couple of swings on that for me. In fact, let's hit the ball off it. Good, a bit louder if you can. Good, what do you feel you did to get, make it louder? Hung back, as in, release it later. So what was your body doing there to release it later? But it felt like it was... Opening up. Yeah, you were forward okay. of it. You were yep. way in front. Yeah. So you moved <coughs> and, and so you, you'd adjusted your sequence. So instead of it being more together, you were here. And then it's coming, but it's still coming from a draw place, but you've moved too and rotated. And then you can get, you've, got, you've shifted your low point forward. So this is what it's doing. This is shifting your low point. Just a bit of low point awareness. And then you can play around with this with your, with your swing. Lovely. What a shot. Different move. Yeah, that felt a little bit more compressed. Yeah. I suppose. It sounded it. Those fat shots. Yeah. It is primarily then just that. It's all that. the same thing. It, yeah. It's all the same thing. Yeah. Because your early release is a pull draw or a push fade. So you're getting the same shots you'd expect for you know, for, a, for a low point that's too far back. What is it generally that's going wrong then when you suddenly start to get this two-way miss in that respect? So your low point's just so far back because yeah. you're sequencing from here and not... Like, essentially you told me, when you said I feel like I'm so late, yeah. and I've just got to trust it, yeah. that's where you need to be. Right, okay. You're, yeah. you're giving me the answers, mm. essentially. I'm just making you aware, aware of what you're telling me. <laughs> and all I'm doing is guiding this journey of 
discovery of your movement and you're giving me all the answers and all I'm doing is just providing a sounding board for you to reflect and actually recognise yourself because we don't recognise ourselves. It's like you have to look at a golf swing, look at your swing on video and you don't recognise it. It's like, you don't really relate to it. It's like... Yeah, I remember the first time seeing it thinking, I hate me. No, yeah, it, 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 horrible. I'm like, oh, <laughs> We're going to hit some shots. We're going to rock forward to swing back. So we rock forward. This is like a counter move. You, yeah. you, you already have it, to be honest. But I want your hands to go with it. All right. Your wrists. Okay. So you're going to push. So it's forward. So you can start to feel the end of the club. That's only doing what my wrist does. So if I've got no appreciation of what this is, with that in my hand, I don't really know where the club is or what I'm doing with it. Whereas, once you start to waggle this, you're feeling that golf club through the load on your wrist mm. and the forces you're applying to that golf club and the action reaction that you're feeling, this is giving you a sense of this golf club. You use this as a, as, a, as a movement with intent. It's like, this is where we're going. I'm going out here to the right, I'm swinging around. So you're starting to use this as an intent of where you're going and you'll feel the shape of the shot, the curvature when you swing. Good. And just play a couple of shots now. Yeah, well done. That was better. The confidence will come by you just yeah, just doing these exercises, going through the going through the motion and then just trusting the sequence. Well done. By using that side bend when you throw a ball. What you're doing is you're tapping into this power here. This is power, torque. This is torque, and you're combining the two. Bang! Okay. Now, what it's also doing is bringing you down to the ball. Just imagine you're throwing it down the range. There, but, don't, but stop there. Just before you'd release it, stop there. There, that's it. And notice the side bend. Can you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. And that's allowing you to counterbalance the club. Notice how your left leg's moved in response and your left hip, it's your height. And there you go. And that's allowing you to release that now. Yeah, on a three quarter swing, just feeling it there, feeling it late. Yeah. It's, that's the leap of faith you have to take, that you're, you're already long gone and you're here and then this is going to do the job but it's reacting now to everything that's gone before, which was all based around your intention, trying to play a draw. So actually the most important thing is what you're doing now. Yes, well done. Did that feel a lot later? Yeah. Beautiful shot. Different feel? Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know <coughs> when it's right versus when it's wrong. On so many of them other ones, I knew it was wrong before I'd even set off on the downswing. Did you? Yeah. The commitment is the same all the way through. From there now, you swing it back with commitment, off you go. Perfect. So. That swing has commitment all the way through. And what your commitment levels do is the like drop off. So it's like we talked about, the level of intensity of the focus. Yeah is got to be maintained all the way through the whole motion because we want the full motion of the golf swing. So you've got to be just as committed here as you were here <coughs> and as you were here and then it's all the way through. I see you can just let the hands move, you know where to go, you know the sequence. Beautiful, purposeful all the way through. I could learn to trust that, definitely. different animal that swing mm. that was that was like a recoil that was there was elasticity to it there was a chain there was intent all the way through that was a that was a golfer committed to a golf shot yeah i think you've been swinging too slow probably trying to control it yeah trying to steer it as opposed to letting this thing go it's like you're throwing a ball i need to do that to throw the ball in that line if i do it slow yeah now I'm going to try and get it there and I'm probably going to... I have uh, consciously tried to slow down just to get control. Now, we've got to go the opposite way. Yeah. But what you do is, when I say speed it up, I don't mean speed up that. Yeah. I mean increase the momentum 
from the ground up. So you use this more. You up the tempo of this. How do you throw a ball further? You don't put more effort in here. You get more power from here. You move faster, more efficiently. Yeah. And this transfers it to the ball. So if you want to go further or you want to play with that, that real intent, you've got to go to the ground more. So bang, bang, bang. It's got to be a bit more upbeat. Use your little forward movement first. That is intent, that thought. It's like short, sharp, and you that's your, that's your leap of faith. That's like, boom, you're off. You're committed. Yes. Ian, watch yeah, out. Felt good. Yeah, that looks awesome, mate. Felt really good. That little, just that trigger. Yeah. And then look, you're there. And you're already there, left. You've gone left of the <coughs> ball, so you're already experiencing what it's like to be over here. Yeah. There's a commitment throughout the whole motion, but it's bang, 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 and it's, you're applying the force at the right time. The tempo's there now. You look a different different player at this tempo. Definitely feels good, isn't it? Yeah. I think the slower I go, the more I think about it. Yes. <laughs> and that's counter to how you want to perform. Yeah. Waggle the club, move in there, in you go. Yeah. Brilliant. Feel good? Yeah, that makes a big difference. Just that. Momentum. <clears throat> go. You've been operating, you've, you've turned the dial right down, you're operating too slow. Let that momentum take you into that place for the draw. Yeah. So you, all this is awareness that you recognise, but you, you don't slow the tempo down to go there. In fact, you can speed it up to throw it into that place. Awesome. It's a great shot. Starting it right, drawing its distances there. I'd take that one every day, mate. Right? Yeah. <laughs> See if you can hit it over the mound. Go for the big one over the man. Well played. Shot. Well played. You've got to think big. You've been taking Same. such a reductionist approach to the game. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't, and we only said it. You did it. A much freer way of approaching it. Whereas I'm not thinking about here. No. I'm thinking about over there. Exactly, your mind's there. That's yeah. where it should be. So look at that. I mean, you've got like 20 yard carry extra in the tank. You've been uh, chipping it around, haven't you? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. You, you've got like, you have. You have been chipping it. <clears throat> so right when you want to play them knock shots under the wing, but they should still, still be aggressive. You should be using your aggression in your game. Yeah, look at this. Shot. Okay, finishing now. That's awesome. Feel that good? Feel better at a faster tempo. Yeah. I don't think you can express yourself at a slow tempo because I, <coughs> I get the feeling that's not you. Yeah. Um, no. I think you've been. That, like I say, when I'm playing and I'm playing well, I'm at a fast pace, I'm moving on, I'm ahead of the group, sort of thing. You yeah. Know? You've got yourself into a place where you've assumed an identity that's not really you. And this is start. You're starting to express yourself now with more of a more authenticity. Basically, you're being yourself. You're just applying it like you do with any other sport. Applying yeah. yourself in a natural way. Yeah. Letting yourself. If that is letting it go, or however you want to term it, it doesn't really matter. It's not. It's just you're seeing something. You're acting now more with innate instinct. At that speed, I'm then out there as opposed to in here. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah of course. It I'm, all th I'm only thinking about what's going on up there. Yeah. I'm not got time to think about what's going on. <laughs> exactly. This side, yeah. yeah, mentally you should be yeah. there. This is your field of view where all the information is and this the body just wants to react. We've got to let it react. Yeah. All this is <clears> just <throat> supporting you to let it react. Yeah. That's more you. And then naturally you recoil the club in front of you. You were there, club came here, probably without even thinking. Very good. Now let's let's just still keep the tempo up, but spend time in that tempo. So you're here, the tempo's up, but you're moving and getting into your posture and you're just settling into it, but the tempo's still up. So how you operate is still at that same level. You're just taking your time doing it. Does that make sense? Yeah. You don't have to slow down, spend longer. You can still spend longer just getting in, get, just settling into the shot, but keep the tempo up with your movement and how, you, how you're reacting. That's it, so it's active. Brilliant. Just settling into that strong posture that we talked about. Challenge you now. 
a bit tighter. Like you were talking about that shift earlier, it's an aggressive shift. Awesome. Great shot. You're not striking it like that with a dodgy flat, with a dodgy low point. <laughs> no. That's pretty good. Look at that. Crunched. Yeah, definitely, definitely something to build on there with that. That makes a lot more sense. Mm. This is allowing you to operate now and function, isn't it? I don't ever do that. <laughs> unless it's more like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, and they're short, they're not long, are they? No. They're just like... <clears throat> so, um, this is allowing you to function and operate at a level now where you're reacting and you're letting it all just happen. So that's letting it go. Yeah. It's like you can... Uh, so, you, it's just been too slow and methodical. You've just been... The whole thing's been closing in on you, really, and you've just not been able to just break free and express yourself. It's like you've just got more and more fo narrow focus with your with your with your attention, which has just been yeah. just suppressing the system. Really, now it's the complete opposite. The the chains are off, really. Yeah, I, like I said, I feel like I want to go and chase that now. As in, yeah. I want to really go after that. Whereas up before, up there, even there for the first hour or so, it's like don't get this wrong, just don't get this wrong. You know, it's not. No. Whereas I'm just thinking. Yeah, fire it up there. The positive approach emerges just from that instinctive ap application of what you're doing. So it's like, yeah. you can think positively, but the body doesn't react. <clears throat> it's like, through through moving in a certain way and developing that awareness and having your mind in the right place, the positivity just emerges because it's, it's confidence. And like you say, confidence player. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Did, Ian, brilliant. Thanks, mate. Thanks for that. Great stuff. Awesome, mate. Well done. Nice to watch. Brilliant. Well done. Yeah.